For this video, I'm going to show you guys how to change your carrier logo for your iPod Touch or your iPhone. This is this little image up here right here that says Renegade. Uh, I've seen a lot of you guys, you know, change yours to your name or whatever using uh, applications like Make It Mine or Fake Carrier. Uh, what I'm going to need you to do if you do use those is to go to yours, I use Fake Carrier, and open it up and you're going to have to turn that off. Like where this says Fake Carrier, you're going to have to make sure that's blank and reset everything so it's back to its default. Um, if not, then this image up top will not be displayed. Uh, it'll display the text instead of the image. Secondly, uh, you're going to have to have Winterboard installed. And I'm just going to go through all the steps to make it easy for everybody to follow if this is the first time watching any of my videos. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier when following. You're going to have to open up Cydia and search for Winterboard. I already did it just to make it a little bit faster. Mine has a check next to it, but uh, it's not going to be the first program listed. You're going to have to scroll down a little bit, and that's the logo. It has two people's face. Just, you need to click on that, and where mine says modify, you're just going to click install, and it's going to install that application. After that, you get all that done. Go back go back into Cydia, if you don't already have this, and type in um, S, SB settings. This is just uh, a replacement program for Backgrounder, which I find a lot better. Um, it, you can do a lot of stuff with it. It's really good. Just scroll down until you can find it. Here's, here's what it is. It's the same logo uh, with the two faces. Um, just click on that, and where mine says modify again, yours is going to say install. Just install that. When you're done, just get out of all this, and to access that, there's going to be no icon for that application for the SB settings. To open that, you just simply slide your finger across the top of your iPhone or iPad, and it brings on this little menu that you can view some information. By default, I'm pretty sure that the SSH is turned off, so you're just going to have to turn that back on. Uh, and just make a note of this wireless uh, IP address. You're not going to be able to uh, do this without wireless unless you use your uh, iPod cord. But right now we're doing this for uh, wireless. So once we have all that, we're going to get on the internet and go to Google and type in uh, WinSCP. This is a, uh, it's WinSCP.net. Uh, just go down to the downloads page and download that. That's the SSH file transfer client that you can use. Once you install that, you'll get a screen that kind of looks like this. And for the host name, we're going to type in the IP address that we get right here. And just leave the port number default. The username is root, and the password by default is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. -E, but I changed mine for uh, more security, so like so people can't, you know, get into my files or whatever. I'm, you can watch one of my other videos, uh, figure out how to change the root password. But right now we're going to log in after that. And we're going to get this page that looks like this. Uh, if you're in the root directory, we're going to have to go up one, go down to uh, Stash, and then Themes. And then we're in the Themes. This is all the themes that you've installed. Now, since you, if, for those who just installed it, there's not going to be very many folders in here. We're going to minimize this folder, and on your desktop, just create a new folder. And you can name it really whatever you want. Uh, I'll name mine Robot City, which is a website I've currently go to all the time is robotcity.net. I'll plug them for right now. Uh, and then inside that folder, you're going to have to name another thing, another folder called folders, F-O-L-D-E-R-S. And you have to make sure that the F is capitalized or this isn't going to work. And then go into that folder and make another folder called springboard.app. And the, the S in springboard has to be capitalized and so does the uh, B in springboard have to be capitalized. So S-P-R-I-N-G, capital B-O-A-R-D, dot A-P-P. Now open that, and this is where you put your images. Okay, this is the tricky part where you have to pay attention. These images have to be uh, .png file format for this to work. See how mine uh, says PNG, and the the maximum height for these files can be is 20. I'm not really sure how how long they can be. I'm sure you can make them as long as you want until it goes off the screen, or but it just won't look pretty. But for right now, I just I keep mine at a, a safe 80. Um, for these, some of your images uh, are going to be white, 
and like white background or black background it doesn't really matter for me I, I just use the, the clear background in Photoshop uh, and you can it doesn't really matter just keep both of the same images and you're going to want to name one F -O -F -S -O underscore carrier underscore iPod dot PNG and these are already PNG format uh, and make sure you have all caps on that one on the other one capitalize D E F A U L T underscore C A R R I E R that's all caps underscore iPod all caps and again I'll put these in the in the forum that I'm posting this on and I'll put it in the YouTube um, content on clicking more information you can see what to name the two files all right we're gonna take these images and we're gonna cut them and we're gonna put them into the robot city folder that I just made or whatever you named yours as and we're gonna paste them in there and we're gonna close that and now we have this nice little folder that has all our images in it and, and whatnot now open up your, uh, your the WinSCP thing and you're gonna you're gonna drag this folder into the themes folder on your on your iTouch or iPhone and just click copy and once that's on there uh, you can, you're done for, uh, on your computer just go to your winter board on your thing on your iPhone or iTouch and you will see uh, see, my, I, I currently have Renegade on, which is the one I have, and you'll see another one called whatever you named it as. Just unclick, if you already have one set, uh, turn off all your themes or whatever. I mean, you don't have to, but just to make sure it works properly. And then click on what we just made. And you're going to get out of it, and it's going to respring, so you're not going to be able to watch me real quick. Uh, I'll connect it back on here whenever I do it. Alright, uh, I got it back on. Uh, a thing I noticed when I was going through here and why it wasn't working, I, I did name these wrong. Again, you have to look very closely and make sure that you name these exactly the right uh, name or the image will not display. So when I did name them in these folders, you can look and see, I did name this one wrong. I spelt it completely wrong. I spelt carrier wrong and then I spelt uh, iPod wrong. You want to definitely make sure that those are the right names or it's not going to work. Uh, okay, I booted my app up, and you can see now that up in the corner it says Robot City. See, I changed it from what it was before to this image. See, now, what I'm talking about with the white and black images, now, see when I open up anything, uh, when you open it up, see how the background of this changes to white? Now this image is displayed a little bit different. Um, so, that's, that's the whole thing of whenever you turn it off and back on. Uh, see the background change. So if you want to, you know, mess around with it to make it look better or whatnot, it, you can, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, thank you for watching this video. That pretty much uh, concludes this video. Um, if you want to, you can subscribe. Again, I don't, I'm not real big on that. It would be awesome if you did, but I mean, I'm not, my feelings aren't going to be hurt if you don't. Um, but uh, again, I thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope it helped if it, if it didn't or you have any questions please post on the forum or on this YouTube comment and I'll see what I can do to help you uh, again thanks